Being a relatively small company with a little over 125 employees does have its advantages, as Jay explains. One thing I love about working at Cruise RV is that it is a family-owned business. Um, one thing I tell my wife is that it's, it's, it's not fun anymore if you don't enjoy doing what you don't enjoy going to work and doing what you do every day and, and that's one thing I love is that every day I wake up I look forward to coming into the office and working um, it, it's a small it's a small office uh, setting um, everybody knows everybody everybody's out to help everybody um, and, and you can call the great thing about it is you can call the owner of the company and have a conversation with him like you and I are having today um, which I feel in, in it doesn't happen like that it, it, uh, everywhere. The fact that Cruiser RV builds most of its components in-house, that seems like a good place to start our tour. Jay mentioned about the solid tongue and groove plywood flooring that goes into each unit, but before the flooring can be installed, it first has to be cut to size with all the necessary openings, and that is done on a computerized CNC router. Next, the aluminum stock is cut and welded for the sidewalls and roof. Once the aluminum frames are all welded, the next operation is done in the laminating department, where the gel coated outer skin is cut to size and laminated together with the aluminum frame, styrofoam and inner panel to form a strong lightweight wall panel or roof. Once all these components are assembled, it's time to begin the actual assembly, and that starts with the frames. The axles and suspensions are installed, and the rolling frame heads to the next bay, where the flooring, tanks, and some cabinets are installed. Once all the sidewalls and roof are installed, crews start putting on the front and rear panels. All the while, other employees are continuing inside with all the wiring and plumbing. Did you notice how each one of these units travels from bay to bay? They don't roll nose to tail on their own wheels, but actually go sideways on the rail, which saves valuable floor space. There are so many operations going on concurrently that to the average observer, it seems like mass chaos, but that's not the case. This skilled staff is so proficient at each one of their jobs that what looks like chaos is actually normal organized production. You don't see this hustle and dedication in too many companies. Some trailers come with outdoor kitchens, and this station is where they are assembled and installed. With all the components in place and assembly near completion, it's time for a lot of cleanup and detailing before the last operation.